The big thing I think with this book is that it is a celebration of 100 years of ADK. Um, we're here because of ADK. ADK definitely has, you know, a very long and interesting history as an organization and we wanted to focus on some of the things that have been achieved in the past and hope to kind of guide and direct where we've gone as an organization. But we also wanted to discuss what's going on right now um, with ADK as an organization, some of the programs we're running, how they help us to achieve our mission, um, and then just, you know, where, where we're going now. We wanted to choose some hikes that weren't, that kind of were under the radar, that weren't over hiked. Um, we had criteria like, is it accessible? Is there parking? Is it um, overused? How are the trails? Are they sustainable? Can they sustain additional traffic? Um, so we kind of looked at that to make sure that they fit that criteria. Yeah, and then having it kind of outlined, trying to select a e relatively even number of hikes for each of the four regions. Um, of the Adirondack Park, you know, helped us to kind of narrow in our focus in some of those areas. We tried to make sure that the trails that we chose, um, if possible, had a link to ADK either through trail work or advocacy or um, some other historic content. Through research and, and getting out to hike, just found out that there were, you know, there was so much more than, than I knew, you know, ties to conservation and advocacy efforts. Um, uh, and, you know, even trails that were maybe over a hundred miles away from, you know, the Heart Lake Program Center here were still touched or, or worked on by our trail crews. So um, just really interesting how broad of a reach ADK has as, as an organization and how we're able to find those ties in kind of every corner of the park. Um, one of my favorite parts about the Adirondack Park in general is it has such a rich cultural history throughout. Um, and so even some trails that maybe didn't have that direct tie-in with ADK, you know, we found ourselves at times on woods roads that used to connect communities maybe 50 to 100 years ago, um, old farms, uh, homestead and, and farm locations along the way. Um, so it was just really interesting to, to find some of those um, areas, you know, where we could explore that rich cultural history. Well, I know when we were starting the project one thing you know we both wanted out of this was or didn't want out of this rather i guess was just another list for people to check off oh i've been there i've done this you know done this hike or been to this summit um we wanted it to be more than that we wanted to really um you know highlight all that the adirondack park has to offer through those different locations that we were able to get out focus a little bit more on some of the ponds lakes rivers that that course through the park um so that was definitely a big part of it and also wanted to really carry that stewardship message um, and encourage and empower people that, you know, they can go out and help to protect the outdoors while they're out there and, and just really, um, you know, find what they like in nature and the natural world and, in, you know, spend the time enjoying those little things um, and, and forming that deeper connection.